everyone, this is Crystal and I'm back with another pocket page layout. This time I'm working in my 2017 Project Life album. So I did not finish this album. I've decided recently to go back and try, and to, try to finish up some of those final few pages. This is week 45. Um, it was November 6th through 12th, 2017. I was doing a 9 by 12, so you can see I have a 9 by 12 page protector here. Uh, I have already printed out my photos from that week, and I do have a few bits of ephemera as well. I definitely have more than is going to fit on this pocket page, so I'm going to have to do some editing as I go. Um, for products, I am using the November Life Crafted Kit from Citrus Twist Kits. This is the Gratitude Kit. I have the complete kit, first time I'm using it here. I also have all of the cut aparts already cut apart. Um, I printed these. These come with the kit if you're a subscriber, and um, I just fussy cut all of them out. And then I also have the stamps that released this month as well. So I have the This Is Life Grateful For stamp, I have the Traveler's Notebook stamp, and I have the 3x4 add-on stamp. So that is what I'm gonna play with. I am just gonna play around and see what I can do. So I'm gonna start with my photos and just place them down where I think I might want them. Like I said before, I have way too many to fit on this spread, so I'm gonna have to leave some out. Um, those will likely just end up in a traveler's notebook or on a layout something, somewhere else. They won't go to waste, um, but they aren't gonna make it onto the spread just so that I can keep it to one page. Um, so I was also looking at the ephemera, but I think I'm going to use that on a traveler's notebook spread as well instead of in this spread. So I just pulled out the one um, coffee sleeve to use here and then I'm going to save the rest of it for another project. Okay, so I can move on to the cards now. So I'm just flipping through all of the 3x4 cards, picking out which ones I want to use. I have two 4x6 pockets in this spread. Um, that was determined by uh, the page that's on the other side, which you can't see now, but um, it, they need to be 4x6 pockets. So um, even though I don't have any 4x6 photos, I need to make sure that these uh, top and bottom ones will work in a 4x6 pocket. So um, for the top one, I'm just gonna end up taping those two together. And for the bottom one, I've taken a one of the six by eight papers and I'm gonna cut that in half and use that as a four by six card. So um, I'm kind of sticking with a teal and pink theme, which is um, not really usual for me, especially because there are, uh, there's a lot of red in this spread, which, um, yeah, but it, it somehow ends up working. So I really actually like the way that the spread turns out. I think that the teal and pink really complements all the darker photos and brightens it up and makes it um, not so much of a, of a dark dreary spread, which is kind of how it was looking before I added um, the lighter colors in. So um, I've, I've got my cards and papers in place. Now I can look through all of the embellishments. So right now I'm looking through the cut aparts. Um, once again, this is a, a sheet of printable cut aparts that you get as a subscriber when you when you get your kit. Um, I have printed them at home on just some regular cardstock, and I've just fussy cut them with um, a fine point scissors, and um, used a few punches as well for the round ones and for the rounded corners. So I've pulled out a few of those. I won't end up using everything that I've pulled out, but I've just kind of put some down on the spread where I think they might work. I've done the same thing with the chipboard, and now I'm looking at the other embellishments, the, the puffy stickers and the phrase stickers, and um, also these gorgeous alphas. They are absolutely beautiful. Copper glitter alphas um, on white foam. They're, they're absolutely gorgeous. So I know I definitely want to use those, but there are no numbers. So. Um, I'm gonna have to think about that for a minute and come back to it and figure out how I can get uh, my um, week number on this spread since I was doing consistent uh, week cards this year uh, in 2017 and I want to make sure that I continue that in the in the top uh, left corner of the spread. So thinking about that for a minute, moving on to some other embellishments, um, I wanted to use that pink uh, vellum leaf, but it was just too big to fit on that middle card. Um, the middle card, I felt like it needed a little something extra, so um, I, I pulled out one of the other leaves, the smaller version that's in that vellum pack instead, and I've just added that to the bottom. Um, I'll end up stapling that on here in a minute, but for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and get these alphas onto the page. Um, so I'm just spelling out the word week and uh, I will go away for a second and see what I can come up with to add my, my week number. And I found these tile alphas that we got in um, a, kit a few months back. They are a white tile with 
copper foil letters, which are absolutely perfect. So I'm just gonna end up spelling out 45 with these tile letters and add those below the, um, the week title. And um, that is gonna finish out my uh, title for this spread and I can then add just a little label to the bottom of this card to add my dates. So I'm fussing around with these tile alphas quite a bit. I had tried to use my alignment tool, that's that little plastic ruler I'm sticking them to, but um, it didn't really work out very well, so I ended up having to move all of them anyway, and I probably should have gotten out my tweezers, but I didn't, so um, I just made it work. It worked much better the second time. I think I learned my lesson. Um, and I'm gonna end up adding one of the labels from the cut apart labels that come in the kit. Uh, so I'm just gonna trim that out really quickly and then use, um, I think, yes, I use a hole punch to punch out those little rounded corners on, on the ends of the label. So I can stick that down and then I'll use a date stamp to stamp out the dates for this week. I'm actually gonna use a tiny date stamp because this label was pretty small and I didn't think my regular date stamp would actually fit. Um, I wanted to get both dates, the, both the beginning and ending date of this week on, on that label and I didn't think it would fit. So I have this tiny little um, date stamp that I, I think I just bought it on Amazon. I'll link it down below if I can find it, but um, it actually fit perfectly. So I used that and stamped out the dates and then that's gonna be it. I thought about adding a puffy sticker, but um, it didn't really need it. So I'm just gonna leave the week card as, or the title card as is and move on to the rest of the spread. So um, just kind of working across the spread now, I have a label on this photo. I'm just gonna uh, adhere that down and add this little chipboard piece that says happy. Um, uh, when I pulled it off the, the, the sheet, the, the backing came off, the sticky backing came off of this chipboard piece. So I had a little bit of trouble trying to get it to stick down. I think I was just too lazy to get out my liquid glue, which probably would have worked much better. But eventually I got the tape runner to work and got it stuck down. And I'm going to add a staple to it anyway, so um, there's no worries of it coming off. Um, I'm adding just a few lines of handwritten journaling there with, with a gel pen. And then there was that staple to adhere it. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna add a little puffy heart sticker from the puffy sticker sheet in pink. And then that's it for that one. So uh, for this next photo, I'm gonna do basically the same thing. It's it's kind of a pattern that I'm, I'm following um, throughout this spread that just makes it easy. It makes it so that you don't have to think about it too much. If you just add um, kind of similar things to all of your cards and photos, um, it just goes much faster. So that's what I'm doing to, to um, make it easy on myself and uh, reduce my decision fatigue and to just get this spread done because um, let's, let's be real, it's been two years and it's been sitting in my album undone. It just needs to get done. So um, I'm adding a label again and then I'm using a little um, tab from the cut apart sheet that says new attitude, I think. Um, and then I'm also just adding a little heart from the uh, chipboard. So that's kind of the formula. Um, I did run that chipboard heart just off the edge so that I could trim it off and it would kind of interact with the edge of my photo. And there was kind of an awkward uh, corner where the label and the tag met. So um, that chipboard heart kind of hid that and, and made it look a little bit more natural. So again, just added some handwritten journaling. For this photo, I don't need any journaling, so I'm not going to add a, a label, but I am gonna just add another little embellishment and a, a heart again and call that good. Um, so for this one, uh, I thought about whether I needed to add adhesive behind that leaf, but I realized if I'm going to add a staple, I don't really need any adhesive. Because it's vellum, you'd be able to see the adhesive, so it just wasn't really necessary. I could just add the staple and call that one good. I will come back to that card and add a little bit more embellishment uh, towards the end. But for now, I'm moving on to the next photo. Again, just added a little element from the cut apart sheet and a chipboard circle and then stapled it together and then that's it. So that one didn't really need any journaling either. So I was able to um, keep it really simple. For this next photo, you can see I just adhered it down to that four by six paper that I had cut from the six by eight paper. Um, that's because it's in a four by six pocket and needs to fill up that, that pocket without um, sliding around too much. So I just glued it to one side of that paper and then I'm gonna add my uh, coffee sleeve ephemera piece uh, to the other side and then it's gonna look like two separate three by four cards, but really it's all on one four by six backing. So I added a chipboard and a phrase sticker again 
just kind of keeping with that same formula and um, was was able to move on to the last photo. So for this one, um, it was looking just a little too similar across the spread. I have the two things, uh, the two photos above it both have um, labels and piece, chipboard pieces in the upper right corner. I didn't want to do the exact same thing on this bottom one, so instead I added it to the bottom left corner and that just kind of um, changes it up a little bit. And instead of adding a puffy sticker or a chipboard piece, I'm gonna end up stamping on this one. So I added just that label from the cut apart sheet and added a couple staples and then I'll come back with a stamp here in a minute and um, just add another little stamped sentiment there. So the page is coming together, it's it's nearly done. I feel like it needs just a little bit something extra to, to finish it off. So I'm looking through the stamps to see if I can find any that might work. And um, also thinking about um, the other embellishments and other cards that are in the set and um, what else I might be able to squeeze onto this page. Um, so what I realized is that I didn't have any place to add any journaling. So um, I have a couple lines of journaling on a couple of those labels, but there were some stories from this week that really weren't represented in photos and um, I wanted to get those told. So I went back through the journal cards and pulled out uh, this one that has uh, kind of a numbered list with, a, with boxes for uh, journaling, I think it says happenings or something like that at the top. Um, and I am going to use it to add some hidden journaling to this spread. So um, I've added a tab to the top. I use that same six by eight piece of paper and my tab punch and punched two tabs and then just glued them together back to back and sta added a staple to the top of that card just to make sure that when I pull it in and out, um, it, it's not going to going to come off. Um, it's going to stay put. And then I added a stamp to the top uh, that says recorded, I think. And um, I'm gonna add that to, um, to the spread behind my title card. So um, the, you'll see the little tab and that'll be the indication that there's some journaling back there and um, you can just pull that out of the top of the pocket. So while I have the stamps out, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more stamps. So um, this, this center kind of filler card was still looking a little bit empty to me, so I'm gonna add a stamp to the top of that. And um, I will end up add, adding some just little doodles to that as well, just to, to um, add some more black. There wasn't a whole lot of black on this page, even though my photos are very dark. When I started adding in this black ink, I wanted to make sure that um, it didn't look out of place. So I end up adding just a few little doodles with my pen, but I'm gonna end up doing that off camera. So you're gonna see the close-ups here in just a second. And um, my challenge for you is to try repeating elements to make it simpler on yourself, to reduce your decision fatigue and get your pages in your albums and done. So um, all of the supplies I've used are linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you all back here very soon.